Hello everyone, Sissian here, another pick a card reading. This is gonna be for your Valentine. Who could be your Valentine? Take a moment and choose your stack. And while I have your attention, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Making sure you hit that bell icon too so you can be notified when I go live or upload new content such as this. And, um, okay, so pause the video, decide what stack you're wanting to go with, and let's get this show on the road. Okay, stack one. So, stack one, we're starting off with the sun. So the sun is all about your self-image, your individuality, your identity, your personal creativity. Um, also dealing with the father figure or the um, authority figures could be uh, indicated here. I feel like with this being your card for who could be your Valentine, I feel like for some of you, you feel like yourself, you or your own Valentine, or it's someone that is just like you. It could be your children as well that could be single and needing to spend time with your children for your Valentines. <clears throat> your romance card is reconciliation. So you could also have someone from your past coming back and kind of sprucing things up. <clears throat> so let's see. For stack one in love, please. For Valentine's. Stack one, please. Stack one, please. Stack one, please. y'all I am so sorry stack one please stack one okay stack one you got an extra card Okay, so stack one. Let's start off with this metal deck, metal stack. Definitely feeling like you, this is you're gonna be your Valentine's alone. <clears throat> but could be waiting on someone and that's why you're sticking it out by yourself this Valentine's. Like you're not sure if you really want to Trust someone else with your heart this Valentine's. Yeah, and that, that's what I'm feeling here. Oh, definitely, because you got the death card in both stacks. Could be um, that you have Scorpio in your chart, but you're waiting on an offer of love. You're waiting on someone to offer that love, but I don't feel like it's gonna happen this Valentine's. You're really focusing on yourself, you are your own Valentine this year. And I, I feel like it's going to be that way for a bit. But you do have a change coming up. I feel like this next year could be your year to find love. Could be actually reconciling with someone from your past. And making a decision to do with this person. But it is something you've been waiting for. And I think you're going to continue to wait. This Valentine is going to be about you. And you are going to focus on you this Valentine's. So those of you that chose this stack, go on and love yourself and be, be there for yourself. Don't focus on anybody else but yourself and your children if you have children. And um, I hope it made sense. 
and I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, I'm out and on to stack two. Stack two. Okay, sorry, stack two. We have Mars and love yourself first. Hmm. So Mars is, and I just realized we have a really big glare. Okay, I apologize. Thanks. Okay, so Mars, Mars is all about, it's very passionate, but he's very aggressive, he's very competitive, very assertive. So I feel like you could be uh, your, your own Valentine. You are looking for someone that is just like you. Um, there could be issues with you not having that confidence not having the strength or not having the passion there um that's why you're needing to love yourself first you know your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so let's see first act two in love please for valentine's stack two valentine Stack two, please. Really having that assertive energy around you, huh? Stack two, please. I don't normally pick that many cards, but it felt right, so that's what I'm going with. So starting out here, this energy of you being your own Valentine, having issues with um, allowing anyone else to have control, like you're going to go after who you want to be with. I, I feel this person that you're dealing with could also, the person that you're, that is supposed to be your valentine is someone who is very in control but i feel like you're also you're having this this battle with yourself of whether or not you want to allow someone else to have control in your um of your love life so loving yourself first is very important because <clears throat> if you are not in love with yourself then how can someone else be in love with you right um but communication is coming through and everything around you is great but you don't love yourself completely like you have that issue with the confidence you have the issue with the passion and the strength around you of yourself but the person that could be your valentine is someone that's going to build you up it's someone that's going to give you that um that drive is going to they're going to help you with that um being assertive and could be an air sign here could be a taurus but this person is going to be someone who is going to help you and build you up not um, bring you down i feel like in the future you will have that person you your future valentines will be full of love and you'll have that wish coming true 
you have that person that makes you feel complete. You're no longer going to feel like you need to love yourself first. You're no longer going to feel like you're not getting enough attention. And you'll be the person that you'll be with, or you could be with, I should say, is a person that would build you up and stand by your side. So it's somebody that is very, um, very assertive and very confident. They have the confidence. They have the strength. And you're needing that in your life. You're needing that confidence. So your person, your potential Valentine, is someone that's going to be very confident, very self-assured. And I feel like you could be having communication with them. Um, you may already be with that person, but you're still they need to learn how to love yourself first. So those of you that chose this stack, you have some beautiful energy coming for you in the future with love, wishes coming true, blessings coming in from the universe, and victories, communications of love. It's very, very nice for your future. And your current Valentine is going to be someone who, or could be someone who is very assertive in your life, who is very dy um, dynamic. They have a very, very powerful energy around them. So for those of you who chose this stack, I hope this makes sense for you. I hope it helps you. And we, um, I, I hope that you like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next time, I'm out and on to stack three. Stack three. You have Mercury. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits from you forgiving your parents. So communication is definitely going to be a, 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 a thing for you this Valentine's um communicating and dealing with somebody who is very open, very imaginative um, is what I'm feeling here. So let's see what the cards have to say for Stack 3's Valentine, please. So someone's very talkative for your Valentine. Stack three, please, Valentine. Okay, so stack three. Your Valentine, somebody that you are already with and or already know, and they could be very communicative. They are very imaginative. You already have a, a soul connection with this person, and it's moving moving forward very, um, very positively, but you have something that needs to be taking care of you you have some type of family issue that needs to be handled this valentine for you to have a a positive experience but it is somebody that you are already connected to to be your valentine but there's forward movement there's transformation and changes so that's positive could be on uh, taurus or scorpio but times are changing and things are getting better. You're going to be healing and there's going to be more communication with this person. Whoever this person is, they are somebody that you are already connected to. But I do feel like it is somebody that is very, um, 
like very spacey. They're almost kind of dreamy as well. But your future with this person is very beautiful. It is a soulmate connection. And you're not going to stop working at it. You're going to gain control over this. You're going to have a beautiful relationship with this person. And I do feel like this is not a, a, a simple little fling. I feel like this is a... A long-term relationship that is moving forward it's something that um you you tired of waiting for it so you're gonna start working on healing these issues and trying to be more communicate communicative yourself trying to be more open and more um, just like learning about things as well could be you, you might be it might be somebody that you're not in a relationship with yet but somebody that you are connected to um, that you're gonna learn something from this person in order to move forward so stack three I hope this makes sense for you I hope it helps you and I really hope that you like share and subscribe but until next time I'm out and on to stack four stack four you have the moon so you're I feel like you're um, your Valentine is someone from your past make the effort this is someone that I, I do feel like you already have a deep connection with them and you're going back and forth back and forth back and forth um, these are the moon governs your cycles it is all about changes and repeating patterns is traditions so following a, a tradition this valentine's could be actually going after that person that you're dealing with is somebody from your past somebody that you've already been connected to but you need to make the effort because your great love is worth taking the steps you're got being guided to so this is something that was meant to happen for you and this person so let's find out what the cards have to say for stack four please stack four please Step four for Valentine's, please. You've got extra cards, stack four. Stack four, please. start with the center stack here so stack four <clears throat> making the effort and dealing with somebody from your um that you've already been you've already karmically connected to this person you have cycles with this person like going back and forth um just may be in a rocky relationship with this person and i'm unable to really decide where you're wanting to be at but you're gonna figure it out this this valentine's is gonna be that deciding moment for you i feel it's gonna bring in a renewal of love and it's gonna be <clears throat> you're gonna release yourself from this uh feeling like you can't go forward with the person but it is a soulmate connection it is that that cycle like i said and there is communication between the two of you if everything's perfect there is going to be a brand new beginning here and you have to make the effort to be able to have this be prosperous for it to um you have to learn how to change like this person is changing as well i feel 
your futures, future Valentines, this is awesome. You have three major arcanas here for your future Valentine. Future of Valentines with this person is the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Emperor. Taking back that control, you're having a brand new beginning and a change of times around you. Um, could be a, an Aries that you're dealing with. Could be just this, you know, taking back the control in your love life. Making that effort and putting forth that that drive back into your love life. Um, dealing with the change because it is important for you to change. It's important for them to change. They may, they uh, the person you're dealing with could be dealing with is a person that could have changed a great deal. They've made the changes for you. Now you have to make the effort as well. So stack four. I hope this helps you. I hope it makes sense. You do have brand new beginnings. The fool is coming out twice here. So heavy emphasis on those brand new beginnings. The emperor is coming out twice as well. Brand new beginnings for you. New love. I hope this makes sense. I hope y'all like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm out for now.